Welcome back to Dark Souls, everyone. In the last episode, I had, well, to be honest, a pretty embarrassing performance here at the beginning of Sam's Fortress. So we are going to be looking to remedy that and actually get through this place because, wait, is that my blood stain? Oh, no, that's someone else. Which kind of raises the question as to where my blood stain is. is. I don't even remember where I got killed. Oh, fuck. Oh no, I got killed further on, I remember. Alright, we're good, we're good. I remember now. Just took a while. And a shield. My shield too. I just barely escaped there. I'll take that trade. Yeah, these guys are fairly easy to parry. But the trade-off is... Oh man. It's funny how used you get to them, because I just tried doing a charged R2 there. But that doesn't work in this game, obviously. So yeah, getting through Sands is going to be our main goal here, which should be pretty easy. And this is not too difficult of an area. I just screwed up the last time. I think I was out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah we can't. There we go. Fuck off. Whoa, okay, okay, that's risky. How about we do not? He should be dead, right? Yeah. Enemies take very little fall damage uh, compared to you, but they do still take it. Especially if they're low health. Thank fuck it's here. It's kind of like out of whack, you know. Alright. Through here. The easiest way to kill this one is to activate the trap. Make sure it's actually dead, because that the last arrow has missed for me before, and that is just bad for business if that happens. Anyways, we got two large shards. And that was very bad. Hit him with the bowling ball. Just wait for it. Come on, camera. Is he gonna get hit? No, he's not. Damn. Um, yeah, you can get large shards fairly easily throughout this area. And that's what we're gonna be trying to do. Should definitely have plus 10 by the end of Sands. What am I on, by the way? I'm plus seven already. Speaking of, well, gee, not speaking of upgrades, but just in general, I need to visit our onion bro friend. Oh yeah, by the way, you, if you don't know, you gotta be careful of these ones, because the amount of bleed these guys deal is kind of ridiculous. Bleed is probably only useful in this game, out of all the games. Might as well equip it. Ring of Steel protection is not that good, but as you can see, I don't have shit. Wait, why is my inventory so cluttered? Alright, there we go. Pick up the Shotel, which I'm never gonna use, but still. Well, you know what? Actually, this would make a good secondary weapon, right? For Silver Knight. Okay. By the way, you're a little bit... I don't know, I wouldn't sit there. Yeah, he's fat and he can't run past them. So we have to move it. And that's about it. Ooh, shit. Okay, that scared me. I didn't see it at all. So, where was I? Not getting hit by the ball. The ball is the thing I was trying to do. We can move on. Oh, that was a little bit. Yeah, that was a little bit close. This one is tricky. Um 
And the thing is, one of these can very easily kill you if you're not careful. <clears throat> but of course, once you know it, it's pretty much... <laughs> you pretty much know it. And this is the first time you encounter mimics too. And they do put a very sneaky mimic in this section. Oh, come on. I hate that. Hit that the ball has a hitbox um, all around. God damn it. Missing all, all my asters. So we're not too far from the top. Yeah, this is you can only do this if you're quick running and we need to turn it this way. Actually, you know what? We might as well rescue Logan. Because why not? I'm not going to do his quest, but again, why not? That's unlocked. I'll go back there later, which means I'll probably forget and never do it, but maybe I won't. Easiest thing would be to go down there just now, but I don't want to. I'm too lazy. Again, quick running really helps. Yeah, once you know the parry timing for these guys, you can just hit them. Got these Daigo strats up here. Watch out for the one. Oh, actually, she aggros, doesn't she? I don't remember if she does or not, but again. Whoa, okay. That, that's the one you... That bleeds you like instantly. I'm pretty sure that's enough to insta-kill most characters. Bleed in this game is very dangerous. Hit him with the parry. Hit him with another parry. Stab them in the crotch. Well, actually, that was not that was more in the stomach, but in some enemies, it really does look like just stabbing them in the dick. One more trap. And this one, I remember when I first played through the game, I did not fucking know how to get around, get around this one. The key is just to run. Uh, it's the... It's literally the easiest strategy you can think of and I couldn't figure this out which is the most frustrating because this is the last trap and I was pissed when I got killed for like I don't know I got killed at least two or three times here so we're at the top which was well it wasn't my goal my goal is to get to an Orlando which I think should happen it's not difficult again, like I said. Oh, I almost... Okay, that's really loud. No matter how much I have my volume turned down, that's always so loud. Do we need 10 Estes? I'm not sure. We'll rock 5 for now, and we'll see. Alright, yeah, we can get 1 level... Uh, yeah. Dex. Did I not do it? Oh, well, whatever. We'll just run around for a bit and then we'll do it. So I don't know about the... Sh Wait, I did do it, didn't I? Good, I'm not, I'm not stupid then. I don't know about the shuttle. I feel like I kind of want to get it. But what are... What's even the, like the stats? This is more like a dex thing, isn't it? Yeah. Which actually will be good for this build. But then I have to go like all the way back down. Okay, overextended.
But this already does so much damage though. It's probably like objectively not better than the longsword. Because the longsword just kicks ass. But... Hmm. Then I'm really going to be using the Silver Knight. It's so good. I, I love that you can see the church from here. The way the world in this game connects together is just the best. Like, the geography actually makes sense. Unlike in um, Dark Souls 2. Bloodborne, it makes sense as well. This dude is a cool NPC, but they put him in the worst possible place. Because he has a rapier, and rapiers j just get like screwed over when there's height difference. Like, see, he's not, he's, he can't even hit me. Poor Ricard. Basically screwed over by the design of the game. But that just happens sometimes, doesn't it? It's a really popular weapon, Ricard's. It has those stabby stabs. The reason it's so powerful is because any buff, like magic, lightning, pine, all that, the buff is, is kind of static. Like, the buff always deals the same amount of damage. So, a weapon that can hit really quickly rapidly like Ricard's with a buff is gonna do a shit ton of damage okay next up is the giant because I can buy large shards at this point anyways and tight knight shards so I think I will go back get the shuttle because that's Okay, you know what? Let's not try that. The fucker. I thought that was gonna hit me. And this guy's an asshole, actually. Oh, shit. Maybe blocking and countering is the best. He has a lot of HP, too. Yeah. The thing is. Oh, you motherfucker. The thing is, unlike in the other games, um, getting your guard broken in this game is not really that much of a penalty. Man, this guy, has he always been this much of a dick to fight? Normally I don't fight him, that's probably what the deal is. Because there's nothing even here, is there? Yeah, it's just... Kind of pointless. Okay. One more Estus. Oh, I need the key. Yeah. Shit, you know what? Let's go for the key first. How many do I have from... Seven. Seven large shards. Which means I need two, don't I? For the shuttle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I almost just fell off. That would have been really stupid. I don't even know how it didn't fall off. But you know what? We'll call us call ourselves lucky and move on. I take care of this bitch. Ah, the bleed. I have like low bleed resistance. I like low Resistant to everything. Thank you R2 for not activating Because the thief armor is light, but not very heavy on the def- what the hell? Ah, oh, I got the flamberge This thing is a weird weapon Has the great sword moveset, but first of all it looks weird as hell uh, It also does bleed and now that's about it. No one uses it. Even though bleed is really strong. Alright, let's talk to our floating friend. 
This dude, if you didn't know, this guy legit floats. And the reason they did that is because he's just a normal NPC. But they wanted to make him look taller than the player. So what's the best solution? Increase the size of his model? No. Have him float. It's kind of funny. I'm really hoping my calculations with how many large shards are, I need are good because I do not want to backtrack here. We still need normal shards too because I don't have any. At least I think I don't have any. Nah. I do have a chunk somehow. Okay. Run past all these dudes. Hope you don't get hit. And that's about it. Hey, that even rhymed. And of course, be careful not to step on the trap because it's a dumb way to die. Man. These dudes cannot outrun me. Especially since I've got the bonfire reset strats. Okay, time for some consumables. Probably don't need much of this shit uh, in terms of the boss souls, but we'll keep them around for a bit longer. This is why consumables are good. Always when I have a couple around. Okay. So I need... Um, one, one, two, two, three. Alright, the shuttle. Yeah. And we should have enough large shards as well. Don't, don't accidentally make it raw. That would suck. Raw weapons in this game are terrible. Alright. Plus 10 shuttle. Don't get yourself neither of us. Yeah, we didn't even need all the souls. I forget that weapon upgrading doesn't really take too many resources in this game. The thing about the shuttle that's unique is this. This passes through shields. Um, even on NPCs. So that's good. Very few situations where it's actually something that matters, but still. Why wouldn't you want to have that around? Well, we still got time. I think it's time to take care of the rest of Sands. I think it also bleeds, doesn't it? The shuttle. I actually don't remember if it bleeds or not. Goodbye. I had this guy get into the cage with me once. Um, don't even remember when it happened. It was one of my more recent playthroughs of this game, but it was weird as hell. He just like straight up got into the cage with me. I remember that. I was quite surprised. To put it lightly. Oh yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be good. Oh shit, watch, watch out for his freak out. Oh man, it doesn't have as much range, does it? Oh shit, there he goes. Oh, that this might kill. Excuse me? What the hell was that? I feel like that fall shouldn't have killed me though. 
That was really weird, and I realized I was stupid and didn't rest at the bonfire, so it put me all the way back here. Oh well. And that, that was... This dude is weird, these giants. Uh, they kind of have... They go through, like, every single wall you can imagine. Which, as I've said a couple of times, is the one thing I really hate about the series as a whole. When boss attacks or enemy attacks straight up pass through the walls. Okay, fuck off. Oh, damn. Okay, let's go. We're off. I forget that they followed you. Yeah. Okay, second try of this and hopefully it's gonna be a bit more elegant this time. We got this part down. Kill the crossbow guy. Man, that's so loud. I get the two hand. Oh, and the range I'm gonna need to get used to. Scratch his ass a couple of times. Is he doing it? No, he's not. Something died. A kick. That's it. Wow. I guess having a plus 10 weapon really counts. Okay. You know what time it is. We all know what time it is. It is Tarkus time. So I'm gonna go ahead and not fall to my death. In fact, nah. I, I was thinking of killing that knight there because he actually has kind of a high drop rate for... Uh, like upgrade materials, but I don't care. Yeah, let's see, where is it? There it is. Hit the reverse hollowing, because we want that black iron on our side. Gotta find something for else for this heater shield. Again, I like the heater shield and its functionality. I hate the way it looks. Actually, what else do I have here? I have other things, but everything makes me too happy. <laughs> happy? What the fuck am I talking about? Heavy. Actually, the wooden shield looks, looks really good. Love the design on it. I could rock this for a little bit because it's the... What do you call it? Fucking Iron Giant. I know he's not the Iron Giant, he's the Iron Golem, but you know. Dr. Call's robot. Man. You remember that boss from Cuphead? That boss was a pain in the ass. Man, Cuphead was, was so much fun. I'm probably gonna go back and play it. Maybe after recording this, because just talking about it, I suddenly really want to play Cuphead. I had to make sure for a second that I actually reversed hollowing. The thing is, this is the only game where you have to do it at a bonfire, you know. Get kind of comfortable in the other ones. Where you just kind of, you know, chill out. And actually, you know what, I think... I don't use a charcoal pine resin. Alright, Tarkus, let's go. Although, do I even need to use a buff? If you don't know, this is the only NPC, I think, that can pretty much solo a boss. Maybe with... I think Paladin Leroy can solo the... Whatever his name is. Pinwheel. Shit. 
Oh man. Getting hit by these sonic booms. Yeah, that doesn't deal shit. Darkus, my man, you're up. He just got grabbed. Oh no. Darkus. Darkus. That was an interesting fight, I'll say that. Man, why did it take me so long to die there? Okay. That was not good. That was... That was dumb. Alright. Let's give this another try. I... And I realized what my mistake was. You're supposed to lure him into the middle. When you're fighting him solo, you want him there. You want him to stay there where I... Where he kind of stayed. But with Tarkus, you want him to draw... You want to draw him to the middle because... Yeah. Lesson learned. I think I still have time. If, I, if we go over a few minutes, it doesn't matter. Don't have to go exactly 30 minutes, you know. This guy can get you, you know. Basically, 90% of your deaths against this guy are gonna come from him hitting you off the edge. Did I put away my... Okay, not that my shield would matter, but put it away for some reason. See, shuttle is good here. Less so against giant armored whatevers. I think this boss is literally just a suit of armor. Okay. It is cool though, like how he stands there all menacingly. Good build up, you know, for a boss that's honestly probably not the best, I would say. And this this guy is sort of just there. So we want he stops doing the sonic booms. We want him to come out right here. And anyways, uh, we from now on just let Tarkus handle it. Not get grabbed. He has kind of a weird hitbox on his grab. Tarkus, can you like get started today? Yeah, look at that damage. Did we stun him? Yes, we did. I never know like what sequence you have to attack. Because hitting one of his legs... Did we? Tarkus, my man. I'm gonna be honest with you. That is legit the first time I've managed to knock him off. Respect for Tarkus. Definitely the dankest NPC in the game. Alright, let's go. That didn't even... Yeah, that didn't even take much time. This is a good transition. And this, this game has so much style for like how, well, I will say this game is old at this point, but just the atmosphere is, is so good. And I think with that, we have a perfect end to this episode. Looking out over an Orlando. Yeah, got the achievement. As if I don't know where I just got. 
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls, and I hope to see... Uh, I just did like a weird burp thing. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.